What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another Madden NFL 17 Detroit Lions franchise and today your 10 and 3 Detroit Lions are on the road again taking on the New York Giants at the Meadowlands at MetLife Stadium. If you guys are excited for today's game, you should guys drop a like and if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. And this is a big, big matchup for a lot of reasons because we want to stay in the division race. And this could be a potential first round matchup or divisional matchup, first or second round matchup. It could be a playoff matchup, let's just say that. Because there's a lot of, you know, stake going into this game because it could really give us a sense on how the Giants play. And, you know, it, we could prepare for them better even the next time we face them, even if, if the playoffs come around and we end up facing them. So this is big. This is really big. So we're. Trying to figure out, like, now that Amir Abdullah, we found out he's going to be back for Week 17. He's going to be back for the playoffs. Um, Akeem Hunt has been a big factor on this team ever since I picked him up from the practice squad, which has only been one game. But he was so good last game. You know, I was like, you know what? We might as well try and find a role for him somewhere, whether it's on kickoffs or, you know, even as, a like, a speed back that we need, like, an extra dash of speed or whatever. Um, I really like the potential that Akeem Hunt has, you know, he's not really, um, powerful. He can't really truck anybody, but he's kind of, he's, he's just fast and we don't have that many guys. So obviously having a guy like Akeem Hunt on the kickoffs would probably be something that would be, uh, something to look into a little bit more. Um, we want to improve him though. So it's going to take a little bit. Um, you see just out for a couple more weeks. And we're going to have Amir Abdullah back. Taking a look at the Giants injury roster, though. I'm going the wrong way. Whoopsies. And um, they're missing Justin Pug, uh, Pooh, and Luis Delmas. And uh, Luis Delmas, I remember playing with him in the Dolphins franchise. They're missing a big piece in their offensive line, though. So uh, that's going to be a big uh, miss on the Giants offensive line. Uh, but the players that we need to worry about today, obviously... The guy who was on the cover last year, Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, the guy who could catch literally anything. And uh, Eli Manning, well, he's had a good year in the in Madden, but honestly, I'm, <laughs> um, I can't say that he's like the top priority. Victor Cruz is a guy to look out for. Shane Vereen's also a pretty good back as well. The Giants defensive line has always been really good. Uh, so we got our hands full today against this Giants team. The Giants... You know, they're in contention for the NFC East. As you take a look at the standings right there, they're up actually at the top of the NFC East at 9-4. and four. Uh, But they're only up by a game on the Cowboys. So it's going to be interesting. If we come out with a win and the, and the Cowboys win, who we face next week, it's going to get a little bit more interesting for the NFC East race. So hopefully we can come out with a win and solidify our spot in the NFC North as we are here at the Meadowlands getting ready for the kickoff. And... Of course, we we're, we're, our big thing to try establish the run, and we haven't been able to do that a lot this year because you know we haven't had uh, necessarily the perfect run schemes yet. I'm still trying to figure out the run schemes and how to try and you know best use my running backs. Um, I've found a few things, but <laughs> uh, the thing is, it's like they only work for so long. I gotta try and mix up a few run plays here and there in my. Uh, personalized playbook and maybe just maybe we can find some better run schemes for the future in season two so here's Akeem Hunt from like six yards deep in the end zone he's going to take this out to the 20 22 yard line and that's where he's going to be marked down so here comes Matthew Stafford and again not having an MVP type season but he has been extremely effective 22 touchdowns 12 interceptions almost 3,700 yards passing we hope to get him near 4,000 by the end of the year. That's our goal. And here we are on second and 11 here. Stafford in the shotgun. And he has four wide receivers on the play. Let's see what he does. He dropped back pass. Looking underneath. It is Golden Tate. Golden Tate out to the 34-yard line. And a pickup of about 13 yards on that play. And a first down. So, nice little start there. Nice little start. I like, I like nice starts. Like, slow, methodical. And enough to get the defense really tired. <laughs> First and ten. Stafford again looking underneath to Jones. Jones out to about the 48-yard line. 
almost to midfield. I thought they were going to mark him down at the 49. But Marvin Jones, he's been quietly effective ever since his return from his injury that he had early on in the year. Third down and nine here. Single back formation with Theo Riddick right behind him. Here's Stafford dropping back to pass, looking over the middle to Jones. Jones with another nice catch. You know, you got to catch it in traffic. That's the big thing about being a receiver going over the middle. You got to catch him in traffic, and he does just that and gets the first. Got to do your job, right? Second and inches. I formation this time. We're going to try and hand it off to the, uh, Akeem Hunt, and he gets just enough for the first down. Three carries, nine yards so far for him on the drive. That's where we want him to be. I'm obviously not looking for, like, four yards of carry, but if we can get at least some positive uh, feedback from Akeem Hunt, he's doing his job right. Uh, he does get another first down there, so it's doing something, right? He's doing good things, and that's all we really need him to do uh, because he's not like Amir Abdullah. He's not going to get you, like, any sort of broken tackles or anything like that. We just want him to get yards and uh, not necessarily have to worry about, you know, plowing anybody over. But he does have the speed to get to the edge like that and get a touchdown. And, man, he has been so good. You need to get more toss sweeps in that playbook. Because I honestly think that they are one of the best run plays to use in this game. We're up 7 nothing. Here comes Eli Manning. Look at his numbers. 20 touchdowns, 5 INTs. That is extremely low for an INT count for Eli Manning. Especially... For Eli Manning he has only five interceptions on the season and he's played 13 games I mean that is extremely low for Eli Manning any giant fan can tell you could that's extremely low Eli Manning is having like a god tier like year but third down and 12 here the second quarter has just begun Eli dropping back has time look underneath it's caught by Victor Cruz and he cannot get the first as Darius Slay comes up and makes the tackle and the the Lions get the ball back at the 12-yard line. Pretty bad field position for them to start. But nonetheless, our offense has been pretty effective, especially with early on in the games, especially. You know, Matthew Stafford is extremely accurate early on in games. And uh, that's been kind of the theme so far. Um, but here we go on a toss sweep to Akeem Hunt. He's got some huge running room, but he gets absolutely clobbered. And he is down. Ouch. That, hopefully it's not serious because, oh, he looks like he's in serious pain with that one. Oh, man. After he started getting good, too, he was like, all right, I'm starting to do a little bit better. And then all of a sudden he gets hurt. I mean, that's kind of icky. We just lost our second running back in just a few weeks. I mean, I, I know we get Abdullah back in, like, week 17. And uh, hopefully he can be effective. But it's like, man, now we got to deal with another injury. So now we got another injury right here. Golden Tate is down. This is no good. And he's down and in some serious pain. Hopefully he's okay. And it's two players down already. Just like that. The Giants must be playing some bounty games or something. Can we can we get another bounty gate going? That's two of our well, I wouldn't say one of Golden Tate's obviously a key player. But Akeem Hunt, I mean, we could have lived without, but he's been starting to get good and he's got some momentum. So I guess you could say he's been kind of a key player. I don't know. They're, they're, they're just headhunting out here right now. I'm not liking it. They're playing dirty. And I don't like it, you know. You can say all oh, whatever you want, but I think the Giants are playing a little dirty right now. You see right here, we get it underneath to Marvin Jones. And Marvin Jones out to the 36 and gets another first down. 10 of 12 is Stafford for 120. And no INTs yet. So we're doing pretty good. Second and three, Stafford again, looking underneath. This time it's Anquan Bolden. Look at him shred two guys off of him and gets a few extra yards. That is beautiful right there. Anquan Bolden's hyped. Give him the first. Give him that first. First and ten again. Stafford underneath, over the middle actually, to Jeremy Curley. And Stafford just lighting it up today. Getting all those passes to be complete. Second and two here from the 23. Stafford again. Looking underneath, it's Marvin Jones taken down at the 14-yard line. Now, time winding down here. Third down and one. We're going to do a toss sweep, but it's not going to be effective. As you see, the offensive lineman just completely misses assignment, and uh, that ended up being a loss of, like, four. And we're going to end up kicking the field goal here to try and wind down the half. We're not going to let them uh, get anywhere near any sort of points at the, ha at the half. So we end up uh, leading this one 13 to nothing at halftime. So 
an effective first half. I can say that from for sure. We've had a very good first half. Very happy with the offense. Very happy with the defense. We've held OBJ in check. And, you know, that's part of the reason why we're winning so far. Is we haven't... O OBJ has been, like, a non-factor. And later on, Odell Beckham Jr. still has yet to get a catch in this game uh, up to this point. <laughs> that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of weird. He's usually a guy, kind of a guy that you need to get involved with the game early and often. And I guess we've kind of limited him. And that's good. So, fourth and nine here from the 31. This is about a 47-yard field goal. This one is... Oh, it's blocked! And we get the recovery. And we cannot take it any further. But we get the block. The, st the shutout stays intact. And here come the Lions on offense once again. Second and nine. You see the t game trends. We are only holding... Uh, the New York Giants to only six rushing yards. They, I know they had that big run earlier, but they've gotten nothing since, really. Um, just a bunch of losses. And second and inches. Stafford again looking. Underneath, it's Anquan Bolden. He gets clobbered. They are seriously headhunting out here. It's looking like... like they're, they're like the Broncos defense going after Cam Newton. They're just leading with their heads, it looks like. I don't know why they don't call that. But anyway, I'm surprised they don't call that in, the, in Madden 8. It's been like a big thing in the NFL lately, and I don't know. I feel like it'd be a little bit more realistic if they added that penalty, but it also kind of works both both ways. It's like, okay, come on, what the heck? You know, what would what would happen if you your players did that? So <laughs> I don't know. It, it'd be kind of upsetting. But first and goal here after Ebron gets a big catch, and now Stephen Ridley, the third string running back, gets himself his first touchdown on the season on a toss sweep, and it's now twenty to nothing. We're kicking butt. That's what the Lions are doing this season. They're kicking butt. And now third down and four here. Shane Vereen on the left, right side of Eli. Eli dropping back to pass. Looking for the screen pass. He does get it. And he gets the first down. Makes a, uh, He tries to be a little too fancy with it is what he's trying to do. He should have just kept running. And uh, I was just like, all right, if you're going to be stupid with that, then just you're going to go down. So third down and eight. Single back formation, Eli. Dropping back to pass. Gets this one off to Larry Donnell. And taken down for a stop on its fourth down for the Lions. Or not the Lions, but the Giants. And they're going to go for it here with 8.40 to go at the 50. Eli dropping back over the middle. It's Shepard. And Shepard with a first down. 10 of 12 is Eli for 94 yards. He has been kind of gun shy. He's kind of afraid to sling the ball today. Maybe it's because we have the, the deep part of the field covered where he's trying to throw it to Odell Beckham, but he hasn't really been getting it. But he, this time he gets it off to OBJ. And OBJ is down with an injury. Man, a bunch of injuries today. But that one was on accident. Our our, our defense, our, our players are clean. We aren't trying to headhunt out here. Unlike uh, some players on that Giants defense that have hurt Akeem Hunt and Golden Tate. Ours is on accident. OBJ is going to be fine for like the next for the next game anyway. I don't know about our players, but... um. We'll just say this for right now. The Giants are headhunting. And uh, we're going to take a few shots at them. So they're going to take out two of our key players. We're going to go after them as well. So second and goal here. Here is Eli looking over the middle. It is Dwayne Harris. Touchdown Giants. It's now his first touchdown of the season. And it's now 20-7. to And this one's almost well, pretty much over. Except for the fact that we... May have scored one more time, only because we're trying to run the ball, the clock and run the ball, and we've been effect we've actually been effective with it today. You guys haven't seen many runs uh, in this game, but we have been a very effective in the run today. Look at Theo Riddick getting first downs. That's all we need him to do. You know, four or five yards at a time. Go up the gut, get the first down. But later on, third and thirteen, we're trying to keep the ball in our possession, especially with under two minutes to go. We don't want them to get back in the game, and you can very much understand why I'm trying to do this. So we'll see here. Stafford dropping back to pass. Looks. Gets hit as he throws and it's caught. Oh, it's Andre Roberts. But look, another injury. And you're never going to believe it who it is. You're never going to believe it. You're never going to believe it. It's Matthew Stafford. Oh, no. Matthew Stafford is down. And that's an ankle injury. And hopefully it's not serious. We lost Stafford. We lost Tate, and we lost Hunt, a running back, a wide receiver, and a quarterback in that same order. And you see, you know, you see Stafford walking it off. You think he might be fine. 
Hopefully he's all right. Man, if we are, have them out for an extended period of time, oh, man, it could be disastrous. It could lead to so much trouble. But we'll have to wait for that next game as against the Dallas Cowboys on Monday night to see if they're going to be all right or not because right now they won't even give me a timetable for their return or if they're <laughs> just out for the game or not. But thank you guys so much for watching. I know this is kind of a bittersweet victory, but... Again, we'll have to just take them as we get them. This one's extremely bittersweet because we just had so many injuries. Um, but if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing as always. And I'm out. Peace.